Okay, so I'm, I'm first of all, I'm very glad to, to have this opportunity to visit this very uh, old Korean institution. I am myself, I'm coming from France, I'm a physicist and I have spent all my life doing research in physics and what I can say to, to students that they have, a ch they have an opportunity to learn things and to become better human beings and to be able in the future to help solve a lot of problems which the society will face in, in the coming years. There, there are problems in, in science and there are problems in humanities. You have to understand the world better, how things which happen in the world have to be understood and, and, and controlled. In science we have a lot of challenges like uh, the global warming, like the need for new energies and all this will come only through the work of young people now and the lead leaders should be the well-educated people. So education is essential and the students in, in uh, Korean universities have this uh, privilege to be able to, to participate to, to this very challenging adventure that, we, that humanity and mankind is facing in the future. So I can only uh, uh, tell you that you have an opportunity and I wish you good luck in, in, in your future life and to be productive and useful for society at large, not only Korean uh, society but for the world at large because we live in a global world and all what you are doing here will have repercussions and be useful uh, throughout the world. So this is what I can say in general. What about uh, more specifically for physics majors? So physics is part of the physics is certainly part of this challenge. I, myself, I have been studying uh, atomic physics, uh, trying to learn the mysteries of uh, nature at the microscopic scale, and there have been tremendous progresses during the last century about that and all the technologies. Uh, that uh, we take for granted in our daily life, like the lasers, the computers, the GPS, uh, the cell phones come from uh, uh, the understanding of the way the world works at the microscopic level. And certainly in the future, new discoveries and new advances will, set, will, will lead to other revolutions in technology. We don't know what it will be, as usual when you do basic science, you don't know what it be useful for, but there is a lot of things to be discovered and I think young physicists are now very lucky to enter into this uh, field while such promising uh, discoveries are going to be made. So again, I, I think it's a, it's a great adventure. Uh, it's the, f the primary need, the, the first reason why you should go in this field is because you are curious to understand the world and then after that other rewards come because there will be applications. So the two aspects are connected. It's difficult to, to distinguish between them and it's a challenge of, of physics in the future and not only in physics. I think chemistry and, and biology are also uh, at a time where big discoveries and big advances are made. And so it's a fascinating time to do research. And I, I just wish I, I would be able to see what will happen in the next 10, 20, or 30 years in, in, in all these fields. Okay, thank you very much. Okay.